Actually, I think we're going now. Yes, we are. Hi, everybody. It's your good friend, Possible, here, and we've got a huge show for you, and I brought all my friends. I got Joe. Hello. Brito Johnson. What's up? And Bucky. Hey. Today, we are discussing the ultimate previews, because what time is it, guys? About 7.30. No, I mean, what time? 7, 7 10 p.m. <laughs> it's summertime. <laughs> uh, Arizona time, guys. Just so you know, so you can hunt these guys down. It's summertime. It's time for summer movies. Now, we already got started, most of us. We saw the first big summer movie coming out, and that is... Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3. And seen it. you know what? Joe hasn't seen it. I liked it. Bucky. I had problems with it. Frank. Love-hate relationship. Joe. Didn't see it. Okay, so we but got, got high expectations still. So we got half and half here. We got one who liked it, two who were kind of iffy about it. You know, ultimately, it, it went off pretty slow. I loved the ending. I think they finally got the final boss battle right. Um, the first two, I know, Bucky, you liked the second boss battle better than the first one. I thought they were both kind of iffy because you knew he was just going to beat them eventually. You know, they were just other Iron Man versions. That's, that's the way it happens in all superhero yeah. movies. Yeah. You know, superhero is going to eventually win. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, but I, I agree with Bucky on that one. Sure, I like spoiler the alert. There's one. other superhero movies coming out and everything. <gasps> what? Exactly. Okay, it's so like with the upcoming Man of Steel movie, do you think he's going to live or die at the end? Die. I it wonder. De it depends uh, on yeah. Tuesday makes an appearance. Exactly. But that's good, good for Iron Man 3 if you haven't seen it yet. I mean, Marvel is still kicking butt, so that's that for that. Next one. Next week. May 10th. The Great Gatsby. You know what really gives me the biggest kick about this? This is a dream come true. A childhood promise kept. Two best friends said that they were going to make a movie together, and they finally did it. Toby, Toby McGuire, Leonardo DiCaprio. It's true. You know, they were childhood friends. They said they wanted to start a movie together. They finally took how have a teaser go. Years yeah. You know what kills me about this movie, though? Do you know how big the book is? I mean, Tiny, right? their DVD case is bigger than this book. It's like really small. You could probably read it in a night. Mm. Literally. Yeah. I mean, but they seem to be able to stretch it out to a four hour movie. Now, have we seen previews of it? I've seen the previews. I have. You know, I, I mean, not. basically, there's the humanist question who is the great Gatsby? Is he a real man? Is he a con artist? What's really going on? What's the end game? I want to see it. What are you guys' opinion? I'm curious about it. If I do see it, I'm going to see it in 3D because mm -hmm. the effects of it look look phenomenal. 1920s. Oh, I mean, is, I'm, is sure it? it's, I'm sure it's going to be visually stunning, yeah. but the yeah. story, I don't know much about the story. You know what? We're only seven years away from the, from the 2020s. That's when we'll all have perfect vision. But I just can't... Oh, God. Oh, come on. That was funny! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Speaking of funny, let's talk about. We, get, we only yeah. have two years to get flying cars, according to uh, Steven Spielberg. Yeah, that's I, right. I, I definitely, I definitely, I definitely want to watch it because um, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of Baz Luhrmann. Um, you know, he did Australia, he did Moulin Rouge. He's worked with the Captain before in uh, Romeo and Juliet. Which so, is current music. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm very, I, I can't wait to watch it. I'm very excited for it. Now let's talk about something I'm not excited to see. Peoples. What the heck is that? <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. And that's a, that's number one right there. Yeah. On, box office. Right this there. movie. Where, where's Bam Bam? Uh, unfortunately, it's not Pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> I saw where you were going yeah. with that one. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, this is people. And I'll tell you what really, really gets me about people. It's not just the lame cliche of the fiance or the fiance who to be meeting the family and getting into a big competition with them trying to earn their acceptance gosh this has only been done like how many times <laughs> but it bothers me to see the judge guy i think that's david allen greer gosh he looks so old and i remember that guy growing up and everything yeah and he makes me feel old now uh remember he, uh sorry but... he was in jumanji he was in jumanji yeah he was in the Blank Man with uh, Marlon Wayne. Uh, what did one of the, the, the Wayne brothers? Someone were? actually saw that movie. I saw it. That was a oh. great movie. I love that movie. <laughs> what were you thinking? <laughs> So who is this? Not Tyler Perry. Is that, right? This is not Tyler okay. Perry. This is some. Uh, her name is Tina. But uh, I can't Tina Turner. No, okay. that, that, I think no. she's dead. Isn't oh, she? What? No, <laughs> oh, no. no. I'm sorry. That, that's Whitney Houston. Sorry, guys. Okay. Oh, Craig Robinson. He stars in that, and I 
If I even saw it correctly. <laughs> He's the one from The Office. Yeah, exactly. Like That's how I know him. Except for Hot Tub, uh, Hot Tub Time Machine. Yes, I, I like have, that movie. I have trouble seeing him outside of uh, The Office. Crispin Glover? Come on, man. I know. But you know what? Ultimately, I've seen the previews. And, you know, it's it, it, it might as well be a meet the fuckers uh, redo here, you know? So I, I, I'm disappointed. I guess I expected a little bit more. Are you not going to the midnight? Yeah, yes. I'm going to okay. be avoiding peoples uh, for May 10th. You, now, you, whoa, you people? What are you yeah. Doing? <laughs> Next up. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Bob? What are you trying to say there, buddy? We'll be seeing the movie. <laughs> but I will tell you one thing. And guys, for those of you who, who don't know yet. Can they explain why peoples is misspelled? No, they haven't yet. It's probably going to be mis, you know, like uh, Pursuit of Happiness. They're going to explain why it was misspelled. It, they explain it in the movie. I actually couldn't finish that movie i found the movie very boring i couldn't finish it you know and i felt bad because i couldn't i never learned why they misspelled happiness you know uh that said next week the 17th yes kids that's my birthday weekend and it's star trek oh yes um this is Uh, a pretty good one uh, yeah okay so plausible turns 45 i am not that old (laughs) you're only 44 i'm not even that old (laughs) I'm not Is even he Benjamin before. Button? Or we yeah. He's reverse. Oh I'm my God. going backwards. Whoa. You know, um, I'm looking forward to the. You know, I will say one thing about this that I found hilarious. When I saw the pictures of it, right, there's this picture of that very hot blonde lady, okay? You wouldn't believe the people I went through to when I finally figured out who she was. You know, because I first see her, she's a beautiful blonde actress. Is she the one that's screaming in the trailer? I think so. And when I first saw her, because she's blonde and she's wearing the blue, I'm thinking Nurse Chapel. You know, that was Bones' assistant. Or Khan. Yeah. And, you know, I felt bad because when it comes to Star Trek, Star Trek always started with the big three. Um, Kirk, Spock, and Bones. Okay? Dr. McCoy. But then, you know, especially in Star Trek nowadays, they add in Sulu and Chekhov and Uhura. Don't they were Scotty. Scotty. And Scotty. By Simon Pegg. Yes. My favorite. Perfectly played by my, Simon Pegg. My, I, I actually like the original Scotty myself. He's James, not alive anymore. James, yeah, but yeah. I got his autograph, all right? <laughs> there That's you awesome. go. That's awesome. So they were, they were second tier, but then there was this third tier, which is really forgotten. Yeoman Kelly. Was the first one I thought when I saw her because she was a beautiful blonde assisted, but she wore the red, I believe. Okay, never wear red on. Star then Trek. I saw her in blue, and when I saw her in blue, I was like, "Oh, that's got to be Nurse Chapel." But then it turns out it's Carolyn Marcus. Now you might be wondering who's Carolyn Marcus. That who's was, Carolyn Marcus? Who's that Carolyn was Marcus? David's father. Yeah, mother, that, yeah, David's mother. It was, uh, Kirk's, uh, Kirk's, Kirk's love interest. At yeah, one Kirk's point. love interest, who didn't want to stay with him only because he couldn't leave his ship. You know, Kirk in the original series was ship obsessed. Everything his life was about was about the Enterprise. You know, and Carolyn Marcus just couldn't have a husband like that. So she was the you know mother of his son that he didn't know he had until much later. But I mean, I, it's gonna be interesting to see what they do with her now. You know, I'm very excited for this. I yeah, I was kind of wondering who she was in the trailer. Mm-hmm. No, I, yeah, exactly. I think it, I think it's amazing they put her in. I'm anxious because I know nothing about who the bad guy is or anything. It, it's you know? been speculated though. It's been speculated that it's Khan. Uh, but that, mm-hmm. it's not it's very top secret right maybe, well, very top secret maybe right they'll now. release more information yeah. at the con about con uh, yeah well it's going to be a little too late because all well most I cons will be over is. oh no Bucky not again <laughs> he's, yeah he's starting that now but I will say one final thing about Star Trek Into the Darkness Um, I like to know as little as possible J.J. Abrams says that too he likes to release as little as possible because yeah. most people would be surprised I still haven't seen a full trailer to it because I want to keep that mystery when I exactly you, I try yeah. to avoid that uh, I'm excited for it Joe I know you're excited for it too. Yeah, the last Star Trek movie, I, I'm almost more. I never really was into Star Trek, but when I saw the last movie, he did such a good job with mm-hmm. it that I really kind of got into it to a point where I want to go back and watch the original series again. Exactly. All right, moving up to the next one Fast and Furious 6, The Return Yay! of Michelle Rodriguez. You know what? Yeah. I hope they explain how that Oriental guy survived also. Remember, from what I understand, his car was flipped over and it blew up. Uh, but they brought him back for number five. He was in Tokyo Drift. Okay, then don't point me seeing four and five now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Spoiler alert. Maybe if you think, maybe you can learn the mystery okay, here. Before we talk, I, I got to mm-hmm. say that five was a, a, a fun popcorn flick. Leave your brain at the door. I enjoyed five. So I most likely. Actually, I think I saw five. I just didn't see three or four. 
I have seen everything except for Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift was decent. And I didn't... I mean, first and second one didn't really do anything for me. I liked the uh, first Tokyo one. Drift. first one was great. Yeah, I, I love the first one. I did not like the second one. second one, one was like, no Vin Diesel this time. Yeah, yeah. I didn't so, like that one. Let's get some other... I exactly. I, the, I bought the, the one, the, the first the one on DVD there. to get the Matchbox car. I am going to see this one, though, just for Michelle Rodriguez. I'm anxious to see how they explain her coming back. You know, to be honest, we never saw her dead. I mean, let's, that, that is one big reality. Because she, didn't she blow up in the caverns or whatever no, no. they were racing? We, all we saw was the wreckage. Okay. We saw Vin Diesel looking at the wreckage, imagining what was happening, but obviously that's not what happened. She went undercover so that she could earn him and her full pardons so that they could live their lives free and clear. So now now The Rock has joined. So, so The Rock has joined every movie now, right? So yes. <laughs> <laughs> he took over GI Joe. He's doing all, but he's in. He's he was in the fifth one. He, you know, it was. He, he did a good job. I thought. Oh, in, in movies, death is never final unless you actually see the person die. Exactly. Uh, now, Two Face and Dark Knight. Yeah, we won't yeah, go yeah there. he's died. Uh, the, the yeah. Spoiler alert there. Uh, one thing about the Rock. He didn't die, though. Question. <laughs> Question about the uh, Rock in Fast and Furious Six. Does anybody else here smell a spinoff? I wouldn't doubt it. He's, yeah. Why not? They did the Scorpion King. Exactly. Ooh. Exactly. That actually wasn't um, too bad. Man, no. Yeah. I didn't like it. And that. of course, let's all hope for the best line in part five, returning in part six. This mission has gone, we have gone from Mission Impossible to Mission Frickin' Insanity. Nice. Oh, oh say, I know you hated it, Mike. <laughs> I right. don't remember that. Moving right along to... Hangover Part I'm Three. See it. I have to close out the trilogy. I invested my time. I have to. The first one I, was my favorite. Second one was not that great. Yeah, I missed Part Two because everyone said it was just like Part don't, One. Yeah, don't bother with it. Yeah. It's, so I want to wait to hear some reviews on those. I'm hoping that they learned their lesson in Part Two. Yeah. Part and Two was gave us something. Special. Or they might say, "Why bother? We got a winning formula. Let's just use it." You know, well, Bucky. What's your opinion of? Did you see him? Hangover Part Three. Um, I might. Give it a chance because Ed Helms is comedy gold right now. Mm-hmm. I think he's a funny guy, yeah. I think he's hilarious. Bradley Cooper's in there, and uh, speaking as a guy, he is a good looking guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like Bradley Cooper. I think he's a great actor. I, I, I like he's been in so many movies. Uh, he was great in A Team. Oh, and if you haven't seen uh, Silver Lightning's Playbook, see him in that. It's there you go. Great way to show off his acting ability. He mm-hmm. is great. I am curious to understand why they're carrying the sledgehammer and crowbar. You and, know? and the cool thing about part three is they, they, they end where they began it back in Vegas is what the whole... The, right, where it all started. Okay, so it's going to go full circle? Yeah, just, pretty much. Something okay, like that. Case, I will probably give it a chance. Yeah. Give it the old college try here. And... What's it coming up? Oh, gosh. Pixar's epic. Oh, I don't know if this <laughs> no, is wait, Pixar. No, it's it's Ice Age. <laughs> it's it's, uh, 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 it's Fox, Dream. right? Uh, Dream. Something. Okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's a wannabe. You know, epic? Oh, my goodness gracious. Can we really count this as a kid flick with all these weapons flying around? Uh, Katana well, Sword, small, Arrow. Small Soldiers was a kid's movie. That's true. G.I. Joe. Soldiers. Yeah. Um, you know... For some I, reason, when I saw this, I thought of a cross between Toy Story and Small Soldiers. I guess... I the, can kind of get to that. What grabs me about this movie is one of those, you know, we've seen these kids' movies way too many times. You know, apparently the girl there shrinks, she meets up, she's obviously going to fall in love with the uh, guy on Beyonce. top of her. Nah, yeah, never mind. Um, actually, no, Amanda Seyfried. I thought, okay, maybe Be- uh, Beyonce's yeah. in there. Oh yeah, Beyonce is here. Uh, if it, you know, to be honest, if I did see this, I'll see it for the talking slugs. Uh, it's like I saw talking. Oh my god, talking slugs! Hello. Oh, oh, talking slugs. Yeah, I misheard you. What'd you say? What'd you do? Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> this is a PG oh, podcast. I, I knew we were. We're going. still PG here. Um, I'm looking. I, I'm not really looking forward to it. I mean, it's going to be kitty, but it might be good. I'll let some reviews and all that come out. I don't want to be too judgmental since we're too far out to really give it a C or a pass. I do that on the next batch. But when it comes to a movie like this, um. I don't know. There's something about it. Just I don't know. Just something Rubs about you the it. Wrong way. Yeah, it gives me that bad vibe. I guess. 
If you guys tells me it won't be as epic as people think it is. I know. That's what I'm afraid of. Something, I guess, too predictable, well, could I be guess. the epic fail. Yeah. Ah, exactly. I guarantee that. That's the are, sequel. That's I, the I sequel. I guess people are already putting that on the IMDb message boards. Uh, yeah. I, well, they, they, they do that anyway. I, I remember this one guy. He used to rip every movie before it even came out. Michael yeah. Flatley? Yeah, exactly. That son of a <laughs> B-word. All right. We actually have more to come up, but unfortunately we're out of time for May. We'll add in May to June. June, and uh, we'll see you then, guys. Be Later. Bye. Oops. Oh, do, do, do. oh, oh what am I doing um. here?